67% of American parents with preteens identify as Christian. Of that number, unfortunately, only 2% actually possess a biblical worldview. Brody Carter brings us the details of a new study that should be a wake-up call for the church. Most of the parents of young children in America today, if they were to die today, probably would not wind up in heaven. It's a bold statement stemming from a study led by esteemed Christian researcher Dr. George Barna. It suggests American parents are experiencing a dilemma. Most people die with the same worldview, in essence, that they had at the age of 13. That's why Barna is concerned in stressing the importance of sharing a Christian worldview with children. The study found while 67% of American parents with preteens identify as Christian, only 2% actually possess a biblical worldview. They don't believe the Bible is reliable or true or relevant to their lives. They don't have the same view of God as is given to us in the Bible. I mean, it's very sobering uh, from a Christian perspective and a Christian worldview. It, it, it's sad, yet it's not uh, a surprise. The numbers show only 1% of this parent group in Catholic and mainline Protestant churches have a biblical worldview, compared to just 9% in evangelical, charismatic, and non-denominational churches. It's been on the decline for more than 25 years now, and it's getting down into the very low single digits with each succeeding adult generation. As millennial parents become the majority, Barna worries those numbers could get worse, as they're seen as being least likely to have and share a Christian lens. This is a generation that needs a lot of attention and a lot of help. They don't respond well to somebody saying, but the Bible says, mm. or trying to force biblical principles upon them. What they do relate better to are conversations, non-judgmental, non-threatening conversations. The study points to a number of reasons for this result, including no-fault divorce, secularization of news, art, and entertainment. It adds that public schools and governmental laws foster a culture where wisdom and biblical truth have little room to grow. Really, culture has done a great job of messaging the fact that, hey, let's just live free and limitless and, and let's just be happy. You have the right for things for yourself. And we've created ultimately a really consumer-focused culture. Dr. And Danny Huerta with Focus the on the Family is dedicated to helping families know and grow in their relationship with Jesus Christ. This is an opportunity, a wake-up call for the church to uh, make sure we're teaching the, the truth in Scripture and going back to that, to the principles and believing everything that the Word of God says is true. No one has disproved it to be wrong. For parents who feel like they're falling short in this area, where to recommends to intentionally enter faith-based conversations with your kids, learn what biblical boundaries look like, and implement them. And he adds, it's going to take practice. So a book I wrote is Seven Traits of Effective Parenting, and that's based off of research on what a parent can focus in on. Rather than trying to control a child or trying to uh, take ownership of, of a child's behaviors, it's about influence, and that begins with you. Does that mean that Christianity is going to go away in American culture? And to make that argument, you would have to believe that God has given up on America. And yet the reality is we have a remnant of about 15 million adults across the country who possess a biblical worldview. That's a huge remnant. So God could certainly use them to turn around this culture. Brody Carter, CBN News. Uh, let me underline, God's not done with America yet. He honors the covenants that were made. The Mayflower Compact was not a compact with the people on that boat. It was a compact with God Almighty. And we need to recognize that. When the first settlers landed right here on the shores of Virginia Beach over 400 years ago, they had brought a cross with them. Uh, across that long voyage, they, they so wanted to have their first act be to plant a cross and dedicate this land to Jesus Christ. When they arrived and they anchored their chaplain, they brought a chaplain with them. The chaplain said, you guys have been fighting all this whole voyage. We're, we're not spiritually ready to do this. And so he ordered, he had the authority and power, he ordered fasting and prayer and repentance and forgiveness be the order of day. 
And when he was satisfied that their spiritual life was in order, then, okay, now you can go to land, and now we can bow together in the sand and raise a cross and pray and ask that Jesus be Lord over this country. God will honor that. He will honor those prayers. He will honor those covenants. What is he looking for? He's looking for the people who are called by his name. He's not looking for the unbelievers. He is looking for you and I to say, well, let's do exactly what that chaplain asked those people on board that ship to do. Let's repent. Let's turn to him. Let's leave all of our evil ways and come before him and say, Lord, have mercy on our land. If we do that, he will heal us and he will restore us. I've got some other news for you in addition to that prayer. Let's make time for Bible study for our children. If you have children between the ages of 6 and 12, it's a great time to teach them the Bible. And I've got a very free way for you to do it. All you have to do is download the Superbook app. It will go on any tablet, any smartphone, uh, any smart TV. You can get the stories of the Bible in a way that children will understand. Uh, when the Bible characters are talking, they're talking directly from the Bible. So your whole family can develop a biblical worldview and the best part of all, it's absolutely free. All you have to do is go to any, any one of the online stores that sells apps, and you can download the Superbook Bible app. We also have a curriculum that goes with it if you want to do more on the theology of the episodes, the archaeology of the episodes. It's all free. Isn't that wonderful? So to get it, go to superbook.cbn.com app or any one of the stores, Apple Store, Google Play, Amazon, they're all available, and I'll underline, it's free.